Welcome back, Sue Wilson. I've got a card for you showing one of our new fillables, but I wanted to show you that you could use it without using it with the tree cups. So we're going to show you what we're going to do on today's card and all the products we'll use. First up, I have the Sweet Wishes clear stamp set for our sentiment. I've stamped the sentiment and cut it out with the pierced flags die set. Here is the fluttering heart, which is what I called a part of our fillable sets. It's been designed to be used with our treat cups, but you can use it on its own. And we're going to also be using the cascading butterflies and that's from our finishing touches, as well as the A4 adhesive sheets. These are double-sided um, sticky adhesive sheets. And we're going to be using the Cosmic Shimmer Glitter Jewels, the diamond sprinkles with that too that to the side. Now I've gone ahead and done a bit of this ahead of time and just cut out, out of a piece of blue dust card, the center die from the fluttering heart. There's no actual outside cutting edge on this, so you've got a heart filled with little butterflies and I've just created a background, but I have a couple more to do. So we're gonna bring in our cutting place plate and we will put that into place and just kind of Move it as close as you can get it without overlapping it. Pop that down. We're gonna cut that. There we go. We'll take this one off and just gently pull back our tape. And use that again. Pop this guy out. Oop, let me get under that last piece of tape there, it'll be easier. And gently pull that up. It's got a lot of detail to it and we've taken off an edge so I wanna be very careful peeling it back so I don't rip it. There we go. So you can see I've got one more cut and a little extra bit here so let's take Clean the die out one more time. Take our tape off of that. In fact, that part will probably go off the edge, so I'm not gonna fuss about with it. And we'll put that back into place and just do one more cut, creating a whole background there. There we go. gentle with this corner. We've got a lot of detail cut out of this, so we want to be very, very careful about peeling it back. There we go. Okay. So you can see I've got the last one cut off the edge there really nice and pretty though. So I've got a beautiful background with that fluttering heart. Pop that back into place. So now what I wanna do is I want to seat that over a background piece of white card and I've covered it with a self-adhesive sticky sheet. So we're just going to peel this up, that backing piece and expose that adhesive. And then I'm going to very carefully pop this into place. Let me just get one corner lined up there, pop that down into place. I'm gonna use the waxy side of that and just make sure it's all adhered really nicely. I'm gonna bring in a piece of copy paper to put underneath me and use the diamond sprinkles now. So all of that exposed area has got adhesive on it, so we're gonna pop those right into that and burnish it into place and give it a nice little bling in the background. There we go. Okay. Tip this back into our container so we don't waste it. There we go, we can use that again. And I'm just a little bit off on this, so I'm gonna do a little tidying with the trimmer, just ever so slightly cut to that edge. There we go. Okay. 
So now I can add this onto our background. I'm going to use black and blue desk and white. So I want to bring that color in to my background. Just give it a little bit of a glue around that edge. And there's still a tiny little piece sticking out right there. There we go. Get that off of there. Pop that on. Okay. And then we'll bring over our backing piece. And I've brought the same shades in with the blue desk and the black with the white uh, pierced edge to matte and layer it. Just creates such a pretty frame. Pop that down. Okay, so I'll set that to the side for the moment. And now I want to bring in the other two dies that are in this set. And I'm going to cut this heart. Show you how pretty this looks. And we'll layer this up so that it's equidistant around there. Tape it into place. Just get it nice and straight. There we go. Pass that through. Okay. Give that oops, quick run through with our tool in one. We'll take out some of those extra bits. And pop that back onto our magnetic sheet and get this one released. Let me just pop my nail under the edge there. There we go. Okay, so you can see you've got a really pretty frame for your, your um, heart to seat in the middle of that. I've already gone ahead and cut the center out of the white, and I've used the outside cutting edge that time, so I've got it all layered up. I'll do a quick spray on that, just for speed and time. I've got the matting done in blue to match it, so it'll show through. Get that layered right on top of that. There we go. A Little bit of mounting foam on the back. And we can pop this one onto the white one that we've just cut. Now what I also want to do is bring in that black, so I've cut one that's separate, just as a solid, and rather than cutting it in half, what I'm going to do is just give it a quick offset. A little bit of spray glue on the back of this one. Just set it off to the side ever so slightly so that black will show through. There we go. So I'm going to bring over my background now, and I've got some mounting foam on the back of this. A little bit of glue because we do have that glitter there. Add that on. And I'm just going to seat that in the upper corner there. So you can see all the background around that. And now I've got a sentiment that says, you make my heart flutter, which is from that Sweet Wishes set. A little bit of mounting foam on the back. And I'm going to bring that down and put that off to the bottom of the, uh, the heart. And because I don't particularly like that hard edge there, what we're going to do is we're going to seat some of these beautiful butterflies on there. And these are cut from the inside of the cascading butterflies. Okay, so I've got, um, I've got four of the five here we're going to use. So I think I'll just put them on with a little bit of glue on and we seat that right off the side. And I'm just going to turn it ever so slightly so it covers that edge. I've got a larger one we can put down into the corner. About like that. And I've left the wings up so you've got that sense of flight. And we can pop another one, say, up here, anywhere you like. And I think I'll put this last little guy just right on that center heart. There we go. Give that a second to set. And you have got an absolutely gorgeous card to use with or without your treat cups. You can use it both ways. It's lovely, very versatile to die. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and you look for us again on our YouTube channel.